He has the rest of his crew in tow in the vehicles behind him. And lining 6th Street here outside the museum, we have fans waiting to receive him uh, as he comes into the museum. And uh, this is a huge night for these guys. They have been preparing for this. You can see uh, we have some folks waiting here outside the museum. And in comes Zach in the Camaro with his team in tow. He's so in love with this Camaro, man. Oh, make sure you bring up the Camaro and that it was David Koresh's. I want everyone to know. Oh, my God. Dude, Uh, Zach is so the guy. Uh, Zach is is so (laughs) the dude that never drove a stick before, bought (laughs) David Koresh's Camaro, and was like, oh, fuck. It's an automatic. It's a manual transmission car. And so like, that's why they have the police escort there. It's because he doesn't know how to drive a stick. Yeah, it'd be yeah. funny if he ran the cop car in front of him. He'd probably never <laughs> drive it anyway. It's License so stalled, like in the middle of the street. It's one of the he silliest things. Talk it's about it. Like, like I said, he, he pulls up and all, it, the windows are really tinted, but you can see a fingerless gloved hand waving at people. It's so sad. So Yeah, I don't think that was really him. It was probably a stand-in because he doesn't know how to drive stick. They have oh, yeah, to probably, yeah. and hey, wore his glove. Yeah, you guys wear these gloves, and I'm going to wear the same one. So when I get out, people think I'm badass. All right. So Slip. he gets out. He waves. He yells something dumb at the crowd. They all freak out. You about, can open like, the box or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yells Ooh, that. Those, open the box. I don't have the clip because it's a little too much, but he is like, <laughs> are we going to open the box? I don't know. The people there <laughs> don't know what box you're talking about they haven't seen the oh, show they don't know box, yeah they don't like, know <laughs> so he gets in the house he finally he enters the house and they lock him in so zach is in the house before he does he meets with his priests and exorcists to have like a little pregame huddle with his holy <laughs> persons and um yeah so let's hear him and the exorcist As you can see behind me, Zach and his team are gearing up, getting ready to face the challenge of a lifetime. Zach uh, has made his way over to consult with Bishop Ouellette and Sister Mary. Let's listen in as the team prepares. Like, I feel like what's going on in here, particularly the Dybbuk box, with with as much attention as it has, I got sick yesterday. I'm on antibiotics. I haven't been on antibiotics in over two years. I'm no. sick, I feel weak, and I have to fight through this. So the timing of that is a little coincidental, don't you think? A little more than a coincidence, yeah. A I mean, there's, more. I'm concerned that whatever's in that box, and I'm not entirely sure what that is, has zeroed in on you, is targeting you. And I've read some of the articles about some of the dreams you've been having and the threats, what? which I consider them to be yeah. threats against you. Yeah. I think it could act on those. So you really need to be extra careful. I have a connection careful. with it that I can't put into words. Yeah. And I think, like I said, with all the publicity of opening it and this and that, it's it's trying to cripple me. And I and I feel that. I feel that. I mean it. I can already feel it now. Yeah. And I'm not saying this just because on, on camera or anything like that. Like, I just feel it. And I feel like this is like a little too coincidental like, the timing of like, this and everything like that so i just want to tell everybody too that you're gonna fight with us through this you're gonna fight with yeah. us with me i'm not feeling good but i think it's related to this it's not related to my nerves from being on camera i want you guys Definitely. to fight with us what yes. we're going to be attempting in here tonight is dangerous and it's already things in the past there's been a build-up to this moment right here so be with us. Thank you for watching. Guys, are you ready? ready yeah. Good night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It seems like he's babbling ready. about this. He doesn't. It, and okay. So he's worried about this Jewish box that's attacking him. Why is he talking oh. to a Catholic priest? That dude doesn't know anything about this. <laughs> And, and, the, and the Catholic priest says, I've read some articles. You had to read articles about the dude? Don't you, like, didn't he hire <laughs> you to do this? Couldn't he have just told you himself? But I love the setup. The setup is, oh, I'm not I'm not feeling so great, guys. Like, I had to take oh, an antibiotics. It's been two years. 
Oh, I'll kind of sound like Tom DeLonge a little bit. But it's not because and he's somehow nervous. slightly. It's not because he's nervous. Some, it's like, definitely not hey, because mom. he's nervous for the filming. I'm not nervous about the cameras because hey, I've been watching for 10 years. So why I'm would... not just saying this because the cameras are here. Oh, by the way, and that's when he turns to the cameras like, yes, hey, I acknowledge all of you. I'm not just trying to uh, amp up the drama over here. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, no, this isn't for you. This is serious. He's in great drama. Drama. himself like so much stuff. where he's like, Oh, but don't worry, guys. I know you guys are with me. We're all together. Uh, We're going to fight this together. Hashtag Museum Live, man. Go on Facebook and look at the 20 different camera angles we're going to have. Go on Twitter, man. Ask me questions. Like, let's get engaged, man. Let's get them numbers up, man. We need engagements if we're going to get renewed. All right. So he's got it together. So now it's, as we like to say, game on. And the team. (laughs) Yes. The team is locked in, and now the spookiness begins. Behind him, and the investigation is about to begin. Let's go inside. Cannot see anything at all. Like, it is just pitch black. I do got to use my flashlight. Okay. You guys good? Yeah. 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 Okay, can you guys see me okay? Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Okay, it is pitch black in here. You yeah. feeling okay? I'm shaking, actually. Okay. So what we're going to start with, guys, um, is this, okay? We're going to start... What was that? Yeah, what was that? <laughs> um, you got to remember that <laughs> there are the some intro. people, some fans right outside until they clear them out. We could we yeah, could be getting yeah. some, some outside noise bleeding in, okay? <laughs> so just remember that. Okay, so I want to talk to you all about this doll right here, Lily, and we're going to start our investigation off by investigating Lily. What was that? <laughs> oh, I love how we immediately, the, the crowd that loves him, he's immediately like, oh, these, this stupid crowd, we're going to get rid of them. Don't worry. Like, I wonder if he has like a riot squad that goes out and hoses everyone down, like, get out of here. We're trying to record a yes, goddamn... Enough. It's just his. It's just his accent alone. It's like, get oh, away. that might be uh, the audience. Uh, yeah. You know, we're gonna talk to Lily. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> he's too surfer. He's too surfer to take seriously. But yeah, I love that he throws the crowd under the bus. A second ago, you were waving to him and loving it, and he's like, "Wait, what was that?" Oh, it sounds like the stupid crowd at size yeah. yelling. Oh, Some he got embarrassed that he got fucking spooked. fans. Yeah. Yeah. He, he he got too into. You know, sometimes you psych yourself out. You know. And every little thing is going to spook you. And he got spooked by the crowd, and he felt embarrassed, so he had to get mad at them. Look, I'm trying to mess with Lily the doll. I told all these people the museum's closed today. We're doing Ghost Museum Live. Go Whoa, on. did you turn that into, like, a uh, Trump, Australian Trump? This, is, this has got to be a new bit right here for Russ accents. <laughs> <laughs> no, not doing that. This is Californian accent, everybody. He lived in oh. Oakland for a bit, but he's an expert on the Californian accent. Hey, it's called bronze. But so, so they go and see Lily the doll. Okay, <laughs> <She's> huge. <laughs> so, uh, what is that? Lily, Lily's huge. What? I'm surfer Trump. Cal oh no! Dude. Please right. don't take your shirt off, Trump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't serve now. Now it's time, so we gotta get they they want to get the spookiness going right off the bat. Okay, yes. get rid of that noisy crowd. We don't get them out of here. Get them out, out, Use out, tear out, gas. out. Yes, he is kind of Trump here. Fuck. He wants that crowd out of here. <laughs> Does not want any naysayers here. All right, so now it's time to take Lily the doll out of her box. Lily. And they're getting strange messages from her, but hey, it's live TV. Let's go for it. Let's get Lily the doll out. All right, what I'm going to start doing is because I'm feeling this ice cold energy, um, I can feel it on my skin like electricity. I want to start seeing. See, there it is again, you yeah, guys. Yeah, it's like yeah. just circling around us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt it yeah. right past him. Right past yeah. Who shoulder. is this? <laughs> it's Who is this? It's me, Lily. All right, that's just me. How's this happening so suddenly? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, because we just entered the building. <sighs> that was so sudden. Yeah. 
soon as you got to the doll. I felt it as soon as you said that, Zach, and then it went right back. Is everything right. off, you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's no way. <laughs> yeah, that's not. Yeah, <laughs> is everything off, you guys? Oh, what my God. That? Guys? Why? Well, it's so, because we just entered the building. You like, think it's because we went to the haunted doll first that things are getting weird? Oh, man. Weird. It's like Las Vegas in the daytime, and like the air conditioning's on. Oh, dude, do you think that? Like, so, why am I drunk right now? Is it because I just took six shots? What? It? No, what? It's good. I don't know. I, ice cold energy. Oh. Maybe my ex girlfriend is over there. You know. Hey! Oh! Ex girlfriend <laughs> singer. Love it. Got her. So. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Got so, her. Got her. So Lily. Back Lily, up like a ghost. Creepy no Lily. That. The doll that doesn't care if you got crowds. The doll doesn't care if you just walked in your own museum and all the lights are off and you're somehow confused it's dark. Um, Lily is out of her case. Now oh, let's yeah. hear the non-exciting moments that will happen now. <laughs> all right. One of my staff members in particular is having dreams of seeing the little girl with her hair being ripped out. And it's so weird that you just got on Ovulus. Hair. Oh, no. It said hair what? Uh, hair actually won't. Hair, yeah, yeah. Hair won't. Okay, hair actually, hair actually won't. won't. And then right what? before that, it said surprise portal. Now, this doll here, I have not ever taken it out of its case. I got this in Did Oregon. Away, preacher. Preacher away. And when I got this in Oregon, uh, it was in an antique shop. And uh, I'm sorry, I'm just a little, there is a little bit going on here bad. right well, now. There's all right, so, dude. I'm taking this doll out for the very first time, and I'm going to touch it for the very first time. When Aww. I bought this at the antique shop, the lady who touched it grabbed it and said, I must wash my hands. I must wash my hands. I must wash my hands. And then keeled over and had abdominal pains. So the little what? apparition that my staff is seeing, we believe, is attached to this doll. You're taking it out? Yeah, I'm touching it for the very first That's time. Why. Oh, my God. He said it five Stop times. it. Lily? <laughs> okay. What? Okay. No. So he sounds he sounds super weird because he put a mask on to take it out, and he's like, "Well, the thing's dusty. I already got to take my antibiotics." Uh, yeah, yeah, he is on uh, antibiotics, but that that's not, not the excuse weird thing anything. that he was talking about. No, that's not the weird part of how he was presenting himself. <laughs> I have to wash my hands. I have to wash my hands. Abdominal pain. There's a pain. little doll here. I really have to touch it. I got to touch they have this doll. Girl. They have a little girl, they have a little too. Girl and I just yeah. Touch it. The little they, girl is they, really... they said, I'm going to touch for the very first time. There's something that these guys latch onto about little girls being creepy, which is, I don't know, some kind of subconscious weirdness of their own. But this it's doll, awful. this doll is supposedly, uh, it, its hair was probably weaved from some murdered girl and her own hair was weaved into the doll, but they don't know that. That's just something that they do to yeah, amp it up and honestly, spook it I, up a little bit. I looked at it. I've okay, I've seen, you know, human hair wigs versus synthetic wigs. And looking at that doll, that was not human hair at it all. Looks, it looks just like a normal it's old a fucking doll. Yeah, it's it, a creepy it, looking doll, but it's a doll. It, if it's something that creeps you out, old-timey dolls are creepy. The same with old paintings of clowns look creepy. And I yeah, keep one of my kids' room that I call Creepy the Clown to old creep them out. Creepy. To keep my them kids, out on purpose. My kids' room is filled with Lego and all kind of cool Star Wars posters, but there's this one weird, like, framed uh, old creepy clown thing that my wife had as a kid, and I just keep it in their room to creep them out. But <laughs> – and they don't really care anymore. Hey, plus and it's Hey, you got to creep him out a little bit. So, hey, man, he, no, he's hardening them. As, as spooked out as he immediately gets by Lily, uh, he is all ready to move on with one of his associates named Dakota to another shocking relic from his haunted museum. And uh, as they proceed down the hall to go to the other creepy object, they hear a ghostly voice. Hello, spirits. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Quiet, please. Quiet. Oh, bossy. Hold on. Is there somebody down there? Fuck. What? Fuck. 
What was that? I don't know what I'm hearing. Did you hear yes? Yeah, I heard yeah.